I'm gonna show you how to quickly set up a thank you page in ClickFunnels. So if you're not a tech savvy person or you just don't know how to do it, you're gonna wanna stick around for what's coming next and we're getting started right now. Yo, what is up, Zachary Babcock here, former drug addict and spent over five years of my life in prison, turned underdog entrepreneur and the prove em wrong prodigy, top 200 podcast host on iTunes. What is up? Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here and if you want the best tips on how to turbocharge your business with lead generation and customer acquisition, make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the bell notifications. That way you don't miss anything. With that being said, we're getting right dive into how to how to how to build how to quickly build a thank you page inside of ClickFunnels uh, without all the headaches and stress and frustrations if you're not really a tech savvy person or you just can't really figure it out. Uh, I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step tutorial walkthrough on how to do that and how to set it up properly so you're not positioning yourself and your brand in the wrong way. So with that being said, let's head to the to, uh, to the computer so I can show you the tutorial. All right, so here's an example, uh, an actual my thank you page when you opt into my growth engine blueprint. We're gonna go over some key components that you're gonna have in your thank you page. Now first, this is uh, after they've opted into my email list, after they, uh, I had a lead magnet running an ad to it and they opt in and then once they opt in now I'm able to remarket to them send them emails and lead them to my next offer if you have not seen the opt-in page you don't know how to build an opt-in or squeeze page in click funnels check out this playlist right here you're gonna be able to learn how to do everything you need to do inside of click funnels going through this playlist so back to the thank you page there's some key components that you want to have in your thank you page first is you're going to start setting up the offer which is what I'm doing in this video walkthrough and and in all of this copy I'm setting up the next offer which in this case is an offer to come schedule an appointment in a small group workshop where I can give them specific feedback for their business model so you want to start setting up the video uh, the the uh, offer uh, next component I like to have you don't have to have it but I like to have a video training videos are very powerful it's a uh, way to over deliver and give them a uh, specific um, not specific but uh, really good um, advice on what they need to do whatever your offering is next uh, if you do offer uh, an appointment if you're not just selling a product if you're offering like a service you probably want to have an appointment funnel so you want to have like a scheduling link like I do down here for them to schedule an appointment with you and then you can have a summary of benefits uh, which you know I, I, I do have that stated throughout here uh, I, I hit on the benefits not the features and then uh, you want to have proof which is like testimonials which we have down here when people see that people are getting results from your program from your product from your service um, that adds uh, way more likely that they'll come to take the next step with you uh, then you also want to have uh, credibility if you have it which credibility uh, I've been featured in entrepreneur magazine good man project and all these publications right here adding that does um, you know increase your chances of them actually taking the next step so those are the key components that you want to have in a thank you page now let's actually build one out going back to the same exact funnel that we did the test where I showed you how to build the opt-in page um, we're gonna actually build the thank you page now um, so I went through the actual settings of the actual funnel step in that last video check that out if you didn't do it yet so now we're gonna go to the thank you page we click on that first thing you do uh, it's gonna have you actually select the template that you want I always start with a blank template so they have all these pre-built templates which you can use them if you like but I like to start build from scratch um, I just find it's the best way so I'm gonna go to blank thank you page select template it's gonna download it and then once I get it right here first thing I want to do is I want to uh, set up the publishing uh, which is like the path um, so you know I can name it whatever I want and then I would put test 2 to name that and then anytime I send, I wouldn't never send nobody the link to a thank you page obviously you want to send them the link to the opt-in page but you know you just have that set up and then now it'll read uh, why I already used that path before so I'm just gonna change it to testing to and boom now that link is this right here and I could send it to anybody and lead them there uh, ZacharyBabcock.com forward slash testing two that's the path is that forward slash part so now that we have that we want to open up the thank you page click edit page we're gonna open up the editor once it loads up here um, I even delete this part I start exactly from scratch and you want to add a new section so we click that and then I choose full width you can choose whatever one you like click the ear con uh, the gear icon on if it's a section row or element uh, the gear icon will always open up the options um, I like a black background so I'm gonna click background color and I'm gonna put a black background in there boom 
Then I need to add a row so I can start adding elements in there. I pick the two columns and then once I got my rows in there, now I can add the element. I click add new element and I want to add an image because I want to put my logo right here. Now I click on the image and I click on the image again inside the options and we want to put in the logo. Boom. Double click it. And I got the logo. If I want to make it smaller or bigger, I just go to image width and type in, I'm going to put 200 pixel. That's perfect. And also I move over here from settings to advance and go to align and I don't want it in the center. I want it all the way to the left. Boom. See how I moved to the left. Now it looks good. Now we're ready for the next uh, piece. I go to full width again to add a new section. Um, add a row. I just want one column. You can do whatever whatever fits you. And here I'd want to put like um, a headline. Uh, maybe uh, say, you know, if I want them to take another action, I would say like, wait, there we go. And then wait, you're almost finished. And then I would state the next step, whatever that would be, what I would want them to take, whatever you want them to take. And then I'd add another element. I want to put the video here and how to put the video. You can up, there's a bunch of different ways, whatever you prefer, but video type, you could do a custom embed. You could do YouTube video, whatever. Uh, I usually just upload it to YouTube, make them unlisted, then I select that, and then just paste the URL in there, and boom, it's good to go. I can select if I want to autoplay, or the controls on or off, whatever. Um, you know, fit whatever custom needs you want. And then um, after that, then, you know, you could put in, uh, you know, like a little summary of benefits. So um, just put that in there, and you can make it look however you want, uh, however nice you want, you know, and dress it up to, to your liking. And then I'd want to put uh, my uh, proof. Uh, which is a uh, testimonial. So I'm add a new section. I have them saved already. You can, you know, build yours out. I'm going to put in my testimonials, uh, which would be that right there. Boom. I have this templated out. So I'm going to delete my scheduling link. Well, actually, I'm going to keep that in there. I want my scheduling link in there because on this page, I actually do want them to come to a workshop. Uh, then only thing I would need now is uh, some credibility. So maybe to break this up, I would want my credibility. I also have that templated out and where it's as seen on boom. And there you have it. There's the thank you page. And that way they have the next step in process and you'll obviously be sending them emails. that's going to lead them back to this page to book an appointment with you. If that's the next step, or you might be sending them emails to uh, buy a product, which you can start setting that up here and maybe even make an offer. I usually don't do it the first contact. I don't want to be coming out right out the gate. I want to build that relationship. So there you have it set up. Now there's just a few more steps. Uh, we go to settings. I always go down to general first and I turn off the affiliate badge. I hide that and the search engines, which is a little click funnels thing. Um, I don't really care about getting that uh, affiliate commission. Most people aren't going to click it anyways and it doesn't look professional. I want mine all the way branded with my stuff. Uh, then also tracking code. This is where, uh, since this is a thank you page and they just opted in, this is an actual lead. So you would get your lead event pixel from Facebook and just copy it and then paste it right in here. I'm not going to go through all that cause that's not what the purpose of this video is, but you paste it in right here under the header code. And then once you have that in there or any other uh, tracking codes that you'd want, you'd put them in the tracking code section. Finally go to SEO metadata and you got to name this, whatever you'd want it. Um, boom, and put in your description um, and your little keywords, uh, your name, and obviously a little image. And there you have it. It is all set up. You would hit save. Bam. Now that it's save, we go to preview. And obviously, um, yeah, that's a click funnel like video because I didn't actually put in the thing, but you'd have that. And this doesn't look good at all, but I was just hurrying up to show you exactly how easy it is to set up a squeeze page inside of click funnels. All right, did that make sense? Was that helpful to you? Did, did you find it helpful? Was there a game changer moment? Was there an aha or was it easy to follow along and implement? Let me know in the comments below. If it wasn't, if it sucked, if you're like, man, I, I didn't get anything out of this, I'm still stuck and I can't build my thank you page, let me know in the comments below because then that way I know I need to improve in the better in the future and do better tutorial videos. Give it a thumbs up if it was helpful, thumbs down if it sucked. Uh, I really do appreciate your honest feedback. I don't care if you think I, I suck, let me know about it. I want 
to improve. Um, yeah, and with that being said, make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the bell notifications if you want the best tips on how to turbocharge your lead generation and customer acquisition for your business. And I will see you on the next video, but until then, you can check out one of these videos that I'm getting right share with you right now. We put them hours in, to bring them dollars in. This that underdog empowerment. We put them hours in to bring them dollars in. My name is Zachary Bell.